All right, welcome back to Skirt. Let's play. This is the Cat Lady, and we are going to knock out Chapter Five. We just knocked out. We just killed two parasites in the last episode, and I uh, just want to apologize if this up if this uh, chapter is really short. Um, I'm going to keep it just uh, as Chapter Five because the last video was almost two hours long, and that's a little too long. So um, it looks like we're going to take a bath here. Which I would after, you know, killing two two psychopaths that were going to eat me for dinner. Uh, we're going to take a bath this time. I guess I deserve a long, hot bath. I don't know about how long, but... <laughs> now who the that fuck is would... bugging me in the bathtub? I need to ask you something. Can I come in? I'm in the bar. Is it something important? Yes, very important. The fate of the world depends on it. <laughs> you can come in if you promise you're not a lesbian. You can come in if you promise you're not a lesbian. A lesbian? I told you I had a boyfriend, Miss A. So that don't mean well, nothing. Girls shouldn't get embarrassed of each other. Where do you get ideas like that? I don't know. Because it I live by myself. Gay these days. Now, that's okay with me, don't get me wrong. But I don't necessarily want a lesbian to stare at my boobs, if you know what my I mean. My ample breasts. Miss A, if I want to stare at some boobs, I'll take my top off and look in the mirror. Right. Come in, then. You mean she has a loss of me from the cancer? Of course, she didn't specify... I don't remember what cancer she you has, like so animals. I shouldn't assume. We've got strawberry jam, maple syrup, and chocolate spread. Hell, I want one of each. Hell yeah. Oh, nice. I like pancakes. I'll have one of each. Oh, if you don't no. mind. You'll have two of each. Three of each. So many that'd be enough for an army. Bring them in I here. I don't really eat much. That's because you haven't tried my pancakes yet. And if you don't leave me alone now, I never will. But really? Why? Yeah, why? Well, she doesn't want to leave. I smell something funny. I think your pancakes are burning. I'm so full up. Where did you learn to cook like that? My dad taught me. He was the king of pancakes. So did you make it from scratch or did you make it from a bag? A wa you know, like. Add water only. I can do that. I like washing up. Oh you yeah, do. you do. Really? Really. I'm a good girl. And this is my treat for you after all. Looks like we got the rain back. I Let's be in like Seattle. Do you think it will ever stop? I mean, what if it doesn't? Then it will rain for a million years. I'm not sure I get it. What's the point of that? What the fuck is the internet? <laughs> what did you say it was called again? For the third time. Social network. Why is it so difficult to remember? AKA I just Facebook. The whole idea really stupid. Why would I want to tell people that I'm having a shit day? So maybe you would feel better for sharing it with your friends. But I, I don't have friends. any friends. No, you wouldn't with this attitude. You, on the other hand, seem to have 274 of them. How is that even possible? Well, what can I say? I'm very likable. Wow, that's pretty cool. So, they come every time you play the piano. And the neighbors come yeah. too every time I play the piano. I don't the piano. Really play that often. Because the name is Bitch. Mostly when I feel really sad. Maybe I actually play more often than I thought. <laughs> you saddo. I know a song written just for you. Remind me to play it to you sometimes. It'll cheer you up. It's called, All Flowers in Time Bend Towards the Sun. Flowers, yeah, of course they do. We hate you flowers, know, it, remember? It's written by Jeff Buckley. He would have been bigger than Cobain, you know. I never heard of him. No, I probably didn't. He drowned in Mississippi when he was only young. Is that all that happened? Finally, get some sleep. She's been through enough. I 
I wish I had some time to relax. Maybe now you'll learn how to use it. What am I going to do with it? Just look for people you know. Invite them. Talk to them. It's a good way to keep in touch. Maybe you could refresh some old friendships? I don't know. I can't think of any names. I probably never really cared enough about anybody. How about people you went to school with? Your old colleagues from work? Nope. Nope, nobody. I'm a loner, sorry. Zero. A rebel. At least they're right about one thing. I'll add you later. That'll be a start. Damn, it's really raining out. I made us some coffee. Sit down and talk to me for a moment. Have okay. A bad day. Do with some company. Sure. Coffee sounds great. Hell yeah, it does. Coffee all day long. We'll sit with Bitsy. What's wrong, Bitsy? Well, I'm not sure how to get started with this thing. I've been thinking about it the last few days, and I just don't seem to get any good ideas. Maybe I've been a fool all along, deluding myself that I could find where that sick bastard is hiding. Oh, he's here. Maybe I can help you. He's here. I have here. lots of free time, you know? Last night, I made this, well, map. I made a map. This is our building, all four floors. Mm, there are two like my building on each floor. You really want to help me? That's so great, Miss A. How will I ever pay you back for this? Which I'll money? think about it later. You're gonna pay me some money. But we haven't found him yet, have we? No. But I feel that together we stand a chance. So, let's talk about it. What do we know already? Well, well, the, well. Let's talk about the. Mm, let's get rid of our flats. Pretty obvious. We can cross off our flats, of course. And the Susan. Yep. Good. At least is this is this the guy she's looking for? Also, there's an old man in flat five, right opposite the Brian's place. Yeah, let's get rid of that fucking asshole I know that came that over. Rude bald guy lives in flat six. Told you about him, didn't I? I think so. It's that guy who came complaining about the noise, right? Mm -hmm. Right. That's Brian Palmer. Let's mark him on the map. What else do you know about him? Not much. With a detailed drawing, too. Wait. I remember some woman lived there with him. I've not seen her for ages. They must have split up. Could he be our potential suspect? No. No. That jerk? Never. Fine, I'll trust you on that. I guess we can count him out. Okay. Baby or a woman with a baby. There's a woman with a baby living upstairs. No husband. I'm not sure. I hardly ever see her. Hell yeah, no, there's no do, husband. He's split. It's usually in the hall when she's pushing a pram with a baby inside. She always has tons of shopping hanging from it. I nearly asked her once if she needed help to carry it upstairs. And I said fuck it, she can do it. I hesitated for a moment, and by the time I offered, she grabbed the baby and the shopping bags and marched off upstairs. She was expecting to be asked Susan. Strange noises flat seven. There are strange noises coming from flat seven. Interesting. What kind of noises? Like screaming? Explosions, guns, then there are threats and insults shouted very loudly at someone. I know what's going on. I think I might know what's going on there, but it's worth checking anyway. Do you know the person who lives in that flat? No, I don't. It's the top floor. I have no business going up there. All I know is what I overheard from neighbors' gossips. Let's get the empty flat, which... Little spoiler alert, it's Joe's apartment. Joe from uh, Downfall, the next game I'm going to play. I'm or the, sure the, the, the prequel to this, to this game, but the remake, Which one? I the, think it's the, the one sequel the slash current events. Uh, dog barking, that is a bitch. On floor one. 
Percival? Well, you said one of the flats was empty. Yes. Which means the owner of the other flat keeps a dog. I hate dogs. <laughs> Tell me about it. Noisy, Get out of here. Smelly creatures. And Can cats are out there spraying and shit. Being a dog lover? Can't see why not. In that case, it might be worth looking into. And the odd married couple that lives next door. There's an odd married couple that lives next door. Yeah? What do you know about them? Well, the man is called Joe Davis. He seems Oh, nice. never mind. Quiet Joe Davis. But He's, I, I thought he was the empty a couple of times and he sounded almost like the a empty flat person. apartment like flat. A mad man, you know? I gather they must have some serious relationship problems and they're trying to sort them out behind closed doors. It's impossible to hide this personal dirt from your neighbors. I know it's none of my business, but I can't just plug my ears and pretend I don't hear what's going on there. Yeah, yeah. And the wife, I hear everything sitting Ivy here, Susan. Davis. Or is it Sophie? It's oh, Ivy. I can't remember now. Anyway, she's very polite. Always says hello when we pass by each other in the hall. She's one of those size double zero ladies. So skinny you could easily take her for a coat rack. A walking skeleton. I bet she only eats a leaf of lettuce a day, or nothing at all. She looks quite ill, actually. Anything else? Because she is ill. They used to have a cat, Lucifer. I often wonder what happened to the poor little chap. Eat him. Okay, I think that's all that we know at the moment. Okay, what's next, Mitzi? Pram. This reminds me, I found an old baby pram in my bedroom among all the stuff. Do you have kids, Miss Ashworth? You never talk about it. No, we don't have kids. Fuck it, I don't want to tell her right now. No, I don't have children. But you did, didn't you? Come on, Miss A, it's all right. You can talk to me about it. You don't want to know about my problems. I just really want us to be friends. I swear to God I could do with one. I'm not very good at friendships. I thought that was rather obvious. Friends should trust each other, you know. You've been I told you about like three days. And everything else. Why can't you just do the same? You told me about Jack because you wanted to. I didn't force you, did I? My private stuff is nobody else's business. Step off, bitch. Why does everyone want to remind me of this all of a sudden? Isn't ten terrible years of suffering enough to let go and never bring it up again? Even... No. Even for me? Walk it off, Susan. We'll find out what happened to Susan. Uh, oh, shit. Be breaking my mugs and shit. Now you've done it. We're going to find out what happened to uh, Susan's uh, past. I, I'm so sorry. Sooner or later. Your mug. It was an accident. Me personally, I don't really care about a mug, but Susan might. You know, just leave it. I don't even care anymore. Now where the fuck is here? Oh shit! All right, another fucking uh, parasite just showed up at our door. What are we gonna do about it? I'll keep watching. I'll show you. Close that door, huh? Who is it? Don't answer the door, Susan. Hang on a second. Don't you got a peephole? Flowers. First of all, like, who the fuck are you? What? What's that in your other hand? Who the fuck? Like, I don't know where this guy came from or what he has to Go do with away. us. It doesn't really Leave make sense alone. to me. So we got. Alright, 
let's just keep going back. So we use just some murderer that came to come kill us. But what he doesn't know is that we can't die. We got birds in our shit. I think we don't birds all the cats that are around my place. Oh, we're not even we're not even at home. Now where the fuck am I? Oh. Oh, I what the fuck? Oh shit. All right, I don't really remember this shit. Just look at that monster. What is this thing? I think the worst thing about it is that it looks a bit like me. Oh! Man, Susan's tripping. Uh, let's get the fuck out of here. Examine the padlock. I don't know the code. It didn't open. No shit. I can't see anything useful here, just old parts of boats and empty barrels. It's hard to tell from the distance, but it looks uh, completely abandoned. I don't know, some urban explorers that might want to check that out. It would probably just fall apart if I got in. It's so old and rotten through. So, the, oh, here's a combination lock. Okay. So, three... I think it's 378. Oh, 384. 384, everybody. Hopefully we can remember that. I can't understand most of it. It's all technical stuff. Hold on. God damn it. Wait, what's this? Minimum passenger handling capacity 2. How bizarre. So it's an... Well, it's an elevator. An elevator? It would take me under the surface of the sea? It doesn't look very safe, but it might be the only way out of here. There's no power. So we need to uh, put that code in. 384. Three eight four. It's gonna say it so I remember. Okay. Three eight four. We'll put that in right now. Okay, three eight four. So it's unlocked, but I wanna check out what's on the side first before we go any further. So this is Susan's apartment, but it's not Susan's apartment. Oh, Oh yeah, I haven't saved in a long time. Let's save. Save, please. Because when I started this episode, I had to uh, replay the last part of the of, uh, of uh, chapter four. So we got skulls here. This this room. Why did it have to be this room? It's locked. I think we're gonna get fucking trapped in here if I remember. Yep. Oh fuck. What are you gonna do, Susan? Oh shit! God, that scared the shit out of me. Examine it. It's, it seems I'm trapped in my own living room. Well, it's not really my apartment. I, <laughs> I really hope it isn't. I don't think it's time enough to break through this wall. The fuck do we need? Mirror? Examine. Strange. The back of the mirror seems loose. Could there be a secret part behind it? Open it. Figure's too thick. Figure's too thick. Rig. Move the rig. What's that? There's a knife underneath. Good. Knives have been quite useful lately. Alright. Use a knife. Aha, I knew there was something hidden here. A key. And what is it? A lever? Strong enough to push the thing. So that key must be for the bedroom. Hey, let's see if we can stab this fucking wall. didn't do anything, huh? How about this wall? Can we stab this motherfucker? Shank, bitch. Nope. Okay, can't push the wall. Pull the lever. 
Dude, I thought it was a little bit like, like sitting on the, the table for me to pick up. Oh, it is. Now let's see if we can bash these fuckers back. Yeah. How about this side? Now we're gonna go into the bedroom. And see what's going on. Going on with uh, Susan's past. Oh. We made it back. So we gotta blow another candle. Well, let's see who we're gonna fucking kill this time. It's all blood in your hands, Susan. Oh, we we caused a car wreck. That poor bastard. I haven't even seen that bad either. Seems something you can walk away from. So we can't get back in there. So we just have to blow out a candle for the Queen of Maggots. All right. Let's hook up in this room that we unlocked with the, with the uh, passcode. Oh, you want to see some shit? All right, let me save real quick. All right. So um. We need to get Susan through the, to the end to this machine, but if we don't, she will die. So, here's a puzzle. I'm trying to think of how you take care of all this. Let's uh, operate the lever. Let's see what happens. So, I'll... all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, take that lever or lever if you're in the Laura Croft days. Let's stick this one right here. Operate the lever. Remove the lever. Operate the lever. Oh. I thought you can get her to crush, but whatever. If, if we can get her through on the uh, first try. Operate the lever. Oh, well, hold on. I just want to see this real quick. See you, Susan. Oh. Well, pfft, I thought she was gonna get crushed. Remove that lever. Okay, come on. We gotta get it to the end somehow. Now let's remove that one. Oh, she didn't move. Okay, so we gotta go just like this. Panel operate. No, why? Why do I do that? Use lever. Operate the lever. We're going to move forward. Okay. Now we're going to put this lever in. Or the mace. Then we're going to operate that one. Now we're going to take this one off so that she can't go back. And we're going to throw it in this one. That seems like a plan to me. Operate that lever. Move forward. Grab this one. Jesus. Operate. Oh, why do I keep doing that? God damn. Don't look at the machinery. Operate. Oh, I think we have to get her killed. Okay. Remove that lever. Now we can operate the machine while she's in it. All right. Operate. Sit back and watch the magic. So now what do we get? The fuck? 
the fuck is that? Get the fuck out of here, Susan. Get the fuck out. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Oh, so can we... Do we have power to the, uh... To the elevator now? Because the other machine needed blood to operate. And now we just gave it a bunch of blood by cutting Susan, or... Whoever that was. It wasn't Susan. It was a replica of Susan. It was a clone. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Deal with this motherfucker. This fucking... He just comes in to try to murder us. Like that's that's. It's still not working. There must be something else I'm missing. Uh. What the fuck am I missing now? Okay, read. I can't understand. What is this? Minimum passenger handling capacity two. So we need two people to get back in this motherfucker. So let's go back in the first room. Since we killed Susan, maybe something's changed with the monster sitting there. So we need two people to use this elevator, which, for me, I think is very dumb. Because I want to go. I want to deal with this asshole that came into our apartment. You know, if we had a gun, we wouldn't be doing all this shit. Okay, here's the monster. That thing still creeps the shit out of me. Okay, looks a bit like me. Stab the, stab the, the sheet. No? Use. Hmm. Well. Well, maybe. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can we stab the monster? Oh, let's go right back here. Stab the monster. Yeah! So now what? What do we do now? Okay, I'm not in control. Oh, shit, alright, now we got Susan from the uh, Dark World or whatever, from Drug School, to come and follow us. So now we can get the fuck out of here. Come on, you doped up fucking junkie. Better walk faster than that, because I ain't waiting. Ooh, soundtrack. Turn that shit up. Okay. Are you, dear? Dear. <laughs> oh, no, it's dead. All right, let's just go. Oh, oh, no, Goodbye, other world. Yeah, I'll see you later. We'll be back. We will be back. Oh, shit. So now we're going to the bottom of the ocean. Oh, shit. Oh, look at that. The mob's been here and everything. Sleep with the fishes. Damn, it's like the middle of the ocean, right off the pier. Six miles down. So this is representing Susan's feelings of she feels cramped or uh, stuck. I can't really explain it, but you you see what you see what I mean. Boom. Oh, I thought it was gonna be like the piano. Durr. So now we're tied Is up. That you behind my back, Mitzi. Ms. Ashworth. I thought I thought you were dead. I was I dead, but I can't right die. Head. Me? Dead? No. No. I'm a tough old girl. Girl. You can't kill me that easily. Stop asking stupid questions. <laughs> we missed we it. No Skip what uh, Mitzi said. Let's calm down, yeah? Yeah. Okay. I could do that. What's this? Duct tape. Yeah, he had loads of that stuff. Maybe we can break this tape if we pull really hard. I don't think so. Try. And it ain't gonna work. It's pointless. We're completely wrapped in this damn tape. We're cocoons. Stuck in a web. Waiting to be eaten. That's and right. Our food it. sucked out of our bodies. Stay with us first, isn't he? Oh yeah. Most definitely. 
pull yourself together and stop talking shit. I can't think properly. Okay. So, any ideas? So, any ideas? Not that many, really. None at all, actually. I'm sorry. You're worthless. And right. you? What do you think we should do? We should kill the fucker. Yeah. With what? We're tied up. We're gonna kill Are the fucker. Are you going fucker. to headbutt him to death? I will, if there's no other way. Come on, there's got to be something more sensible we can do. I'm not gonna die here. Die here. Not like this. Okay. So, we, you know, we're gonna have to use lock picks. I don't know how Mitzi's even gonna get them when they're duct taped together like that. Maybe together we but we'll try every other people. option first. How is that exactly going to help us? Stop asking stupid questions and pull with me. Come on. Oh, I got a hold of that was tapping it. Hey, look at that! Now the duct tape's gonna get wet. We might be able to get out of this. Great, that's just what we needed. A cold shower. Uh, do we want to get into a store? Yeah, let's fuck it. Let's do it. Like flowers, you I mean, fuck it. Let's do like it. Not let's else. fuck it. <laughs> or even more. There was this guy. I should have told him from the start I wasn't interested. Too late. But I didn't. Maybe I was interested. In a way. Probably. Flattered would be a better word. It was ten years ago. I can hardly even remember him now. Tell him Large Marge sent you. Every week. Because he knew Eric was at work. And I was in the flat. Alone. So every Friday night I'd get flowers delivered by a courier. Mm -hmm. DHL. Your partner? On time. Priority? My husband. He was a taxi driver. Worked every weekend. And I was still on maternity leave. You worked every weekend? Does so that mean you worked seven days a week or you just worked every weekend? Was only six months old at the time. Well, five months and 28 days exactly. She would be 11 now. But she's not. Anyway, that one Friday evening's courier had delivered a big bouquet of the most beautiful lilies. Usually, DHL? would have thrown them away. FedEx, UPS, really liked them. Priority, somehow, on time. They were extraordinary. Pro couriers. Stunning. And I need to know. Expensive. I stood there looking at them, mesmerized. mesmerized. I didn't even hear the phone ring at first, but then I heard it loud and clear, as if I'd woken up from a strange dream, and I knew it was him calling. Your secret admirer. Alright, now we're going to find out what happened to Susan. Obviously, her child is no longer alive. And she looks a lot... This must be years ago, because she looks good. Is the phone ringing? They're sent to sweet and sinister. Because you're having an affair. They're the prettiest flowers I ever got. I love them. They're absolutely beautiful. Read the note. It reads, I know one day you will say yes. If I am going to keep them, I should definitely throw this note away just in case Eric finds it. Well, let's get to the phone here. Man, Eric's an asshole. We'll see in a minute. Like, Do you like the flowers? This guy sounds so fucking creepy. Do we want to indulge this? Well, she... Oh. You know what? I always went with the, uh... Fuck you, asshole, stop calling me. I'm gonna go with it this time. They're very pretty. I knew you'd like them. Lilies. They're beautiful. But not nearly as beautiful as you, Susan. Uh, I don't... Well, Susan said that. Well, she said that she might be interested. Let's let's just tell him what's up. I have a family now. I'm sorry, but I can't see you again. We've managed to patch things up with Eric, and there's Zoe. We have to try and make it work. Our daughter needs both her parents. So yeah, I can't just run away with you. Life's yeah. not a film with Julia Roberts, you know. But sometimes. 
comes doing crazy things can change your life for better. Do you really want to be that woman who in 10 years' time realizes that she's wasted the best time of her life living with a man that she never loved? You fuck you, asshole. I but yeah. Look, I love my husband. I can take care of Zoe. I told you before. I'll be a good father to her if you want. It doesn't work like that. You don't know anything about children. Yes, I do. I'll learn. Give up? <laughs> Honestly. I could never give up on you, Susan. Come on. Don't be like that. You're breaking my heart. God, this time. This dude is a fucking weirdo. Is he the dude that came in and tried to kill us? Well, no, because Susan would be like, What the fuck are you doing here? What's. Uh? Okay. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, dude. You creepy oh, shit. Up. Just shut you can up, see why right? I chose chose these yeah. uh, options last time. I'm sorry, Susan. I got carried away. But please, just think about it. I have time. I'll wait. Listen, I have to go. It's getting late. Wait. Yeah. When I call you again next Friday, you will answer the phone, won't you? No, because you sound like a fucking asshole. No, I'm sorry, but this is over. Goodbye and good luck. See ya, bitch. I guess I should do something about these flowers. I'd really like to keep them. But I don't want Eric to know I have a secret admirer. Okay, well. Let's take the flowers, and we're gonna put them... I know where we're gonna put them. I don't know if there's any other option. Of putting the flowers besides in the bedroom with the baby. Where can I hide these flowers? Piano, examine. It's a winning gift from Eric's father. I haven't really got much time to practice. But when I do, the strangest thing happens. Groups of cats come up to the balcony and stare at me. Are they trying to tell me something? No, I can't play now. I will wake Zoe up. Alright. Coffee table, examine. Eric bought this uh, table a few weeks ago. In a second-hand furniture shop. We haven't really got a lot of money at the moment. I'll I'll get better when I return to work in a couple months, I guess. Hide the flowers. Okay, so we, we have to put them in Zoe's room. Okay, there's the baby. Let's watch Zoe. She's fast asleep now, my baby girl. She looks so cute. I don't want to wake her up. We'll have all day tomorrow just to each other. It's one of those cheap shelf assembly units from the supermarket. Well, well, we have to put them on here. It's the only way that we can get... Uh, <laughs> this is sweet, exotic scent. This must be what guilt smells like. We gotta put them on here because the flowers have a big deal about what Mandy happened to... Zoe. What, what happens um, like a you know, later on. Lie. I doubt he'll notice anyway. I hope you're dreaming about something nice, my little star. Oh shit. Eric must have come home early. But why? Because. Are they in New York? Because uh, Eric had a pretty bad day, but he's a cab. Maybe he was on cash cab. Oh, what's up, dude? You're back early. Is something wrong? Yeah. Well, let's think about it for a minute. Is something wrong? Yes, Susan, there is. Didn't you watch television? Listen to the radio? Didn't talk to anyone today? What, what no. happened? Um... Not another plane crash. Oh god, not another plane crash. It wasn't as bad as that. But yeah, it was a fucking terrorist attack. Here on our doorstep. Would you believe that? So, it was a bomb? Yes, in a restaurant. There's chaos spreading all through the city. Everyone's panicking. The police and army are everywhere. But you don't even care, do you, Susan? Why you gotta be so fucking judgmental? 
Let's let's keep it about him right now. Jesus, are you all right? I'm fine. Did you get hurt? No, not really. No, you didn't. You fucking quite badly. Insurance. I was just there when it happened. There was smoke, clouds of dust so thick you couldn't see a fucking thing. So I stop, and all of a sudden some van hits me from the back. I hear my passenger screaming and shouting, and there's blood on the rear window. And just then another car drives right into us, and we're all stuck in that mess. Nobody knows what's going on, but imagining this might just be the end of the world. He got into an accident with but two no, cars, it was some and he's home early. Bomb. When I was in my last night, we were out there for hours, waiting for police, giving statements, what time was that? Get, waiting for a tow truck. Around 7 p.m. I spent another two hours trying to get someone to tow the damn cab to the garage. And you're still here, and you're still home early. Insurance doesn't even cover this sort of thing. You should have called me. I did. Four times. You didn't answer. I must have been... Yeah, yeah. You were busy with the baby. Yeah. Every time it's the same old story. We've still got that wine in the fridge, haven't we? Get some glasses, Susan. I need a drink. <laughs> I'll boy get some glasses, please. No, fuck that. Alright. All right. I'll get the glasses. You get the wine. But are you sure you don't want to take a shower first? No, he needs a drink, woman. I just need a drink. I can then, wash later. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Do we okay. Cabinet, take the glasses. We already know where those are. Oh fuck. Are you gonna get that? Yes. If it's Jerry, tell him I'm not here. I don't want to talk to them tonight. Yes, sir. Hello? It's me again. I'm sorry, but I had to hear your voice again. Jesus Christ, you're a creeper. I love you, Susan. Creeper? We only went out once. <laughs> Okay. I'm I'm sorry, but he's not home. We'll just pretend that Excuse it's his guy. The guy that he doesn't want to talk to. Isn't he? He's not home yet, Jerry. Why don't you try again in the morning? He won't be back till late, right? Is that Jerry? I'm not here, just blow him off. Good. But what if he changes his mind? Like, nah, I will talk to him. Susan. You gone mad. This could have been a disaster. How Fucking asshole. By not Where calling. In the other room. I can't talk. Just wanted to say. Just wanted to say that you've let me down. I'd never forgive you. Or myself if he found out like this. He didn't. But he will if you keep talking. I'll tell you one thing, lover. Yeah? What is it? I think Susan likes it. Well, fuck it, Be fuck it, fuck it. Careful next time, or this is over. Yeah, you get one more chance. I promise. All about chances now. But it will. Good. See you later. All right, let's get this shit going. Oh, that's it. Then the arguing started. Okay, okay, we're still going. <laughs> it slowly grew into something bigger. Something horrible. Very Stupid horrible. remarks and old grudges mixed with alcohol turned into some sick exchange of pointless Point accusations. accusations. It wasn't the first time we argued. But it was the last. Just look at the state of this place. It's a mess. Listen, I know you're with Zoe all day. But it's not like she's still a little baby. She's six months already. You'll have to organize still a little baby. a bit better and get things done. If other women find time, why can't you? Oh, <clears throat> uh, every single response is gonna be a fucking 
put more fuel to the flame. Don't be nasty. I'm doing all I can. Are you really? Okay, doing all you can. You obviously care about your husband. Coming home after a hard day's work, he's gonna be hungry. But wait, where's his dinner? It's in the fridge, you asshole. Oh, uh, let me guess. You didn't make it because you were too busy changing nappies and singing and playing and washing. And washing. <laughs> yeah, I think so. And I'm not going to feel guilty about it. If you'd spent more time with our daughter yourself, you'd know how important these things are. So pardon me, there's no dinner for a hard-working husband. From now on, he's gonna have to cook for himself. Because, it's good, because then I can choose what? what I want to eat. The wife is working just as hard, and she's really tired of being treated this way. Maury! She better Maury. get used to it, because this is just the start. There's gonna be some changes around here. I'm take it down and take it too. Pushed around by you. I put the bread on our table, don't I? I'm the man in this family. I will make the rules, and I get the respect I deserve. It's a Muslim family. Okay. Eric, you're drunk. Get off my case, all right? Aight. Look, I understand you've had a very bad day, but it's not my fault that the bomb had gone off and your car was damaged. Yeah, yeah, I like we really knew what like was going on. Calm down now. I'm sure we can sort everything out. We always do. Well, that's what you think. Yeah? And what do you think, Eric? What do I think? So it matters all of a sudden what I think. Well, I'll tell you. Sure. Tell me. I think I you're know. lazy, Susan. You do nothing all day while I keep working my ass off to provide for this family. It's the role you chose. She's I going back to work. To the responsibility on me like you always did. I think you use the baby as an excuse for everything. And I think you're an asshole. I think How so dare too. You accuse me of such things. But it Dick's also fuck assholes, it's Chuck. All true. Uh, let's go check on the baby. Let's go. I have to check on Zoe. I left a window open in her room. She might be cold. <laughs> Eric didn't like that. That's right. Just walk away. That's all you do, Susan. You can never finish anything. If there's one thing I don't want to finish, it's this stupid conversation. Why not? Are you afraid that I actually might be right? Are you scared of facing the truth? I'm sure Zoe's fine. It's the hottest summer we've had in years. She might be hot. It'll be good for her to have some fresh air in there. Won't you agree? I... I guess. Fine. Never mind. I'm done talking. We need to check on the baby. I'm done talking to you. Of course you are. That's what you always do, isn't it? You run out of arguments, you stop talking to me, then you lock yourself in the bathroom and fucking cry. I'm sick of repeating the same old thing over and over again. Oh, crying. Then why won't you give me a break, for God's sake? You're acting like I've done something terrible. I don't even know what your problem is. Is there something you're not telling me, Eric? There's something you, you ain't telling Eric? listen to me. But you never listen to me, do you? Not to a single word I've ever said! Right. Here we go. It's not you. It's the alcohol speaking. I shouldn't be taking the wine. any of this seriously. Wonder if it's Franzia box wine. You'll be apologizing to me for it. It was just a couple of glasses, and you had some too. I'm not drunk. I wish I was. Maybe then I could laugh at this shitty life and not care so much. That's a good one. You really care so much, Eric. You should get a medal or something. Yeah, and give him a trophy. I thought you said you weren't gonna talk to me no more. You are full of shit. You antagonizing Susan. fucking asshole. Full of shit. Full of shit. Okay. Yeah, look at yourself, you idiot. Why don't you look at yourself, you idiot? So I'm an idiot now, am I? Yeah, you're oh, a moron. You keep picking on me for nothing. No, this was coming, and you know it, Susan. If you're so unhappy with me, then what the fuck are you still doing here? Pack your bags and leave me alone. Hey, get the fuck out of here, we got you the baby. You're throwing me out. This is my fucking flat! I worked my fucking ass off for seven years to buy it! I'm not going anywhere! 
Well, you are married, right? So technically, it's both your flats, rented flats. How can you talk to me like this? You're treating me like dirt. Didn't you forget something? I'm your wife. I'm the mother of your child. That's right. Doesn't that mean anything to you at all? A wife and a mother? Why don't you start acting like one? When was the last time you showed me that you care about me? All you ever talk about is the baby. Here's the baby. Kids, it's I a new baby. I but I want to have a wife too. When was the sex. last time you even kissed me? I'm not That's even what talking about. about sex. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Uh, I knew it. Is that what bothers you so much? Is it? Even though Susan's of getting it hers on the side. Me. Does it not bother you that we never have She's not just getting other? it, she's getting it. Look, we are new parents. It's always hard. All couples go through it, I heard. Well, fuck this. I fuck heard this. different. Alright, last one. Thank God. I haven't done anything wrong. Of course not. Because you're fucking perfect, aren't you? Mm -hmm. That's not what I said. But well, I am perfect. You're so perfect, yeah? Then why are we here now, fighting? Because you came home like an asshole. This is all messed up. You're behaving like a five-year-old. What the hell is wrong with you? You, Susan. You always knew which strings to pull. To tip me over the fucking edge. You came in and tipped yourself over the edge, dude. Stop it. Stop it, Susan. I've only just started. We should finally say to each other what we really think, right? You go first. We didn't even notice that outside the storm had started. I was so absorbed in that stupid fight that I forgot all about the open window. Anyway, and the flowers. Those fucking flowers. Right there. By her Baby bed. Baby was allergic to the pollen. She had some rare allergy to pollen. But we couldn't have known that. Well, How you we had the chance to check on the baby. It's rare. She started coughing and choking. I blame Eric. Eric's fault. <laughs> so that's the time we oh, saw oh, her. Oh. When we found her, she, she was. She wasn't alive anymore. She, she's dead. After two days of what seemed like a narcotic dream, Eric had gone out and never came back again. And she felt guilty too. They found him nearly a week later. He drank himself dead in the woods. I nearly didn't recognize him when I saw him in the morgue. It really was a hot summer. He looked... bad. Real bad. Miss Ashworth, I... Thank you for telling me that. Now I understand. I understand why you're so sad all the time. Alright, now it's time to deal with this fucking asshole. Now that we got all that off our chest. What do you want from us? Yeah, who the fuck are you? He doesn't are speak. Dev? Mitzi, let me handle this. Let us go right now, you moron. Dumbass. Mitzi. Leave her alone. Don't you dare. Switch your no! lights out. Take me instead. Because I can't die, that's why. Take me. Alright, now we're gonna get out of this duct tape. Okay, I think I can do something. So, uh, Mitch is dead, I guess. My friend. I. I will. <laughs> you will what?
what? What's going on? <laughs> it was just a pink, a You're prank, letting bro. Me go just like that? No. Not exactly. Where's my friend? What have you done to her? Turn the light on. Fuck the meters. We need to see everything. All right. Let's go see what he did with Mitzi. Oh, wait a second. Oh, too late. I was going to see if I can use the phone. Oh, well, we can deal with this with, without any police action. So this guy's like mute or something, or deaf. Okay. Okay. This dude is fucked up. You sick. Son of a bitch. What do you want me to do? I don't understand. Speak English. Why does he want her to play the piano? I don't get it. What, he wants to feed some cats? Maybe, maybe this whole time he just wanted to pet her cats. No cats know what's up. Here they come. Better watch out, asshole. Teacup. I wonder if teacup's going to be up in here. Look at their ghost cats. You can see right through them. Yeah, I didn't think of that, did you, asshole? Maybe you just wanted me to use the. Look at. Yeah, this cat's will fuck around. What did he expect? We are the cat lady. All right, all right, all right. Missy needs help. She fell off the chair. What are we waiting for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Teacup, I gotcha. I gotcha. Uh, I need to find something for stand on first. So the chair, I mean the chair. No, 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 no. The chair. Push that chair. Alright, come on. Can't get too long. We don't want uh, Mitzi to have uh, any brain damage or anything. Stand still, Mitzi. I'm gonna be right back with a knife. And I'll cut you down. Alright? Knife, a knife. Where was the knife? Okay, is she gonna walk to it automatically? Okay, I don't know what this dude has to do with the story. Okay, Mitzi. We just saved Mitzi's life. Even though she was going to die anyway from cancer, but... I suppose she doesn't want to die now. She's still got to find the Eye of Adam. Hell yeah, they're hungry. Relax, Mitzi. I am immortal. Don't look. All right, chapter five is done. We only got two left. In chapter six, we're gonna go through all these flats to try to find out which flat the Eye of Adam is in, which I don't recall where he is. If he's even in, in our apartment building or not. Alright, alright, shh, 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 cutscene, cutscene. Hell Road. Helen Road, but it says Hell. Oh, look at it. It was a speedy guy. The speedy guy just went across. We're really going to do it, aren't we? Yes, oh, yeah, we are. You oh, you mean you mean find your closure? Your closure. Oh, no. I thought you meant do it as. You know. <laughs> yeah, you will. Did you take that map with you? Yes. I got it. 
We can always refer to it if we get lost. I've lived in this building There's for many horse. years. I won't get lost, Mitzi. But me as but the player might get lost. Once we're sure it's not them, it might give us a clear picture of how far we've got. Right. Okay. Good luck, Mrs. A. What, you want me to help? Where Mitzi. are you going? Are you sure you're feeling up to it? This recent incident, it must have been pretty tough for you. It was. You were hanging for like 30 seconds. No, I'm good. Never felt better, Mrs. A. You now have Mitzi icon in your inventory. Use Mitzi's ability to pick locks and ask for advice if you get stuck. All right. Thanks for joining me for chapter five. We're getting close to the end here. Let's see, uh, you know, a couple hours of gameplay at least left. But, uh, you know, everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, <clears throat> hit that subscribe button. You know, we like to see people uh, watching your, our shit. So, see you later. Bye.